everybody welcome to today's lesson where we shall be discussing on the topic functions definition let x and y be non-empty sets of numbers these numbers could be real or complex a rule f from the set x into the set y denoted by f such that x goes to y which assigns to each element x an element of set x a unique element y an element of set y is said to be a function from x into y the set x is called the domain of f while y the set y is called the codomain of f now let us try to see if we can explain what this is really saying. Consider a set we shall call X and another set here which we shall call Y. These two sets are both non-empty. That is to say that these two sets contain at least one element each. So let us assume that this set A, set X rather, contains the element 0, the numbers 0, 1, and say 2. And the set Y has it, the numbers say 3, 4, and 5. Now, if there is a rule, which we shall call F, that assigns element from this set X to this other set Y, then such a rule would be called a function. So we're saying that if there is a rule that assigns, say, 0 to 5, for example, assigns 2 to 3, and maybe assigns 1 to 4, then such a rule we shall call a function. Now, the set X, this set X that has the elements 0, 1, and 2, is what we refer to as the domain of the function F. And the element 3, 4, and 5 from the set Y is what we refer to as the codomain of the element, the codomain of the function, I beg your pardon. Let us try to make this, let us try to explain even further with an example. So suppose we have a function Y equal to 2X plus 1. Look at this y equal to 2x plus 1. If we define our first set x and define the other set y, if set x has the following numbers 0, 1, negative 1, and say 2, for example, and our function is defined this way. Now, our, what is f of x? f of x is 2x plus 1 because 2x plus 1 is a function of x so this is our f of x so we say y equal to f of x and f of x in this case is 2x plus 1 the question is now this is the rule we are talking about the rule f we are talking about now with this rule f we will be able to match the elements 0 1 minus 1 and 2 from the domain to elements in the codomain and how do we do this? We are going to plug in each of these values from the domain into the function and see what the result shall be. So, if we plug in 0 into this function, what do we get? We're going to have y equal to 2 times 0 plus 1. And that gives us 1. So, 0 will be mapped to the element 1. So 0 is mapped to 1. If we plug in the value 1 into the function, what do we get? y equal to 2 times 1 plus 1. And that is equal to 3. So 1 is mapped to 3. If we plug in the value negative 1, we get y equal to 2 negative 1 plus 1. 
and that gives us negative one negative one so negative one is mapped to negative one if you plug in the final value two we get y equal to two times two plus one and that gives us five and we can see now that two is mapped to five so what do we see here with this function with this rule 2x plus 1 this rule is saying that when you pick up any element in the domain which is called x now to get where it maps to in the codomain we should multiply such elements by 2 and add the result to 1 and that's what we have done here now 0 has been mapped to 1 so in the language of functions, we would say that 1 is the image of 0. We we'll say that 1 is the image of 0. So we are going to write that as, we we'll say 1 is equal to f of 0. But we said y is equal to f of x. y equal to f of x. So this simply means when I put the value of x into the function f, what value of y do I get? So from the first one, you see that when you put the value of x, which is 0, into the function, this function, the value of y that it gives to you is 1. So we say 1 is equal to f of 0. And we call 1 the image of 0. And we shall call 0 the pre-image of 1. Also, 1 here from the domain has been mapped to 3. And so we shall call 3 the image of 1 and call 1 the pre-image of 3. Likewise, minus 1 has been mapped to minus 1, and 2 has been mapped to 5. So we would say that minus 1 is the image of minus 1, and 5 also is the image of 2. Okay. Now, we shall now define one last set. We say that the set of all image points is called the range of f what are we saying we want to define a set r which we shall call the range of set f of this function f rather since we have now the images we have here are 3 1 minus 1 and 5 this collection of these images is what we refer to as the range of the function so we define the range as saying okay the range of the, fun of, the of the function f is the set of the set of all values of y such that y is equal to f of x where x belongs to the domain so this is the mathematical definition for range this is simply saying that the range of this function is a collection of all images because y equal to f of x y the y values here are the image points of all values of x from the domain. So when we collect such points, then what we have is the range. So for this function described here so far, the range of the function will be what? The first image is 3, which is an image of 1. So we have 3. The other image is 1. The next image is 1, which is an image of the point 0. We have 3, 1. We have negative 1 is an image of minus 1. We have minus 1. And finally, 5 is an image of 2. And we have here 5. This set with the elements 3, 1, negative 1, and 5 is what we refer to as a function. So what do we observe from all this? We observe that a function is just like a machine where you plug in values and get values again. The last remark I want to make here is this. In this function, we observe, we observe that the values in the domain are all real numbers. 0, 1, negative 1, and 2 are real numbers. The values in the codomain, or the range if you want, are also real numbers. 3, 1, negative 1 and 5 are all real numbers so we shall now call this function a real valued function we shall call this function now what a real valued 
function. So a real valid function is a function whose codomain is a set of real numbers. Whose codomain is a set of what? Real numbers. In our next class, in our next lecture, we shall try to see if it is possible to know or to find out how many elements should be in the domain of a function. By that, what do we really mean? We have plugged in zero into this function and we got an image for zero. We plugged in one and we got an image for one. We plugged in minus one and got an image for minus one, likewise for two. The question is, how many, how many more real numbers can be plugged into this function such that we shall have images? And when we try to answer this question, what we'll be doing is called finding what the domain of a function. So see you in the next class. Please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you get notifications for new updates. Thank you.